Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. I am Betsy Markle. I'm a registered dietitian, a holistic nutritionist, health coach, all that kind of stuff. You are in the Metabolism Mojo group. And I usually do talks in my office and usually just trying to help you figure out how to heal your metabolism. And today's a little different. Like I said, you're in my kitchen and we are gonna do a little bit of cooking today. So I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. And we are honing in this week on the crock pot. Now, personally, I my crock pot broke because I used the heck out of it. And so now I upgraded to an Instapot, but there is a slow cooker button on here. So I can do either one. So it all depends whether I have the time or not. So if I'm just last minute saying, oh gosh, I gotta pull together dinner, or um, I would use the Instapot, but if I planned ahead and I'm gonna be doing it in the morning for the rest of the day, then I prefer the slow cooker. So it's up to you. And um, just please say hi in the comments. And I, I kind of want to just see what you guys utilize your Instapot or Crock-Pot for. So I'll tell you some of my favorites. I tend to do a weekly Crock-Pot or Instapot section um, time where I do hard boiled eggs. They are so easy to break apart when you do them in the Instapot. And then once that Instapot is warm, um, it's so easy, you just keep going and keep going. So after that, there's like no cleanup with the, with the eggs. Um, I do steel cut oats a lot and I make a batch of that for the week. And, and then I might even go farther and do another one and that's where I might make a soup for the week. So today we are doing a soup. I'm going to do my famous uh, chicken tortilla soup, which I make a lot. I love it. So many of my clients love it and why? Because it's so easy and it tastes good and it's well balanced and just clean simple so i hope you guys enjoy um i do have some chicken here so i'm going to put that in um when i do my meats i tend to do more organic so i would utilize that so and just before i dive into this recipe of the crock pot chicken tortilla soup i do want to mention what a really really easy recipe is just putting in about one to two pounds of chicken and salsa. And you can just add some salt and then you can have shredded chicken. So that's probably the easiest recipe. And I, I can include that one in the notes. By the way, the chicken I just put in is frozen, okay? Doesn't even have to be defrosted. That's the most awesome thing about a, a, a crock pot or Instapot. So chicken is in there, okay? In my recipe, I have two large chicken breasts. I didn't have that today. I have more like, eight tenderloins that are frozen so it doesn't matter and i think i just hope i vibe with some of you guys because i'm way different than most people most people have to follow a recipe to a t and the great part about a crock pot is that you don't you can just wing it and see how it turns out and taste it and almost always it turns out fine so uh, again you'll see kind of my ad adaptations to it so that's the chicken we are gonna throw in some corn and frozen. This, this recipe, by the way, is mostly all frozen ingredients, which makes it so easy. Once you have these ingredients, then you can use them, frozen or canned. So frozen corn, we are gonna put in here. It's a regular bag. This bag is 12 ounces. And again, corn is one that is usually genetically modified, GMO. So uh, I do try to get more organic for the corn as well, just so it's gonna be cleaner. Okay, next is going to be a, on my recipe, it calls for a bag of, of frozen mixed pepper strips and frozen chopped onions. You are welcome to do frozen. I did not have frozen today and I didn't feel like going to the store, so I have fresh. So I have peppers here that I'm gonna put in and this is two peppers, one orange, one red. Okie dokie. Next on the list is the onions. I did one large onion here and I just chopped it up. By the way, just to be clear, I did little strips of the peppers and just the onions being little strips as well. It's chicken tortilla soup, so it's kind of fun that they're little strips. Okay, then we move on to some canned ingredients. So we need two cans of diced tomatoes. So I, I personally have one of petite, petite diced, I like petite diced, of tomatoes. So I'm gonna pour that in there with the juice. And then this one naturally had with onion, celery, and green peppers as their version, which is fine. 
And then I also am adding in, my other one is a smaller can of tomatoes because this is a spicy one. This is the Rotel diced with green chili. So I like to add the kick in there. You do not have to. You could just do two cans of regular tomatoes, but I like mine a little spicy. And to be honest, I had salsa that's starting to go bad. It's fresh salsa. And now I say bad, it's just no one's starting to eat it in my house and it still smells good. And so I'm gonna use that in there too. This is where I'm winging it, okay? And I hope you guys can get a little bit more confidence doing this as well. Okay, next on the list is the, be the beans. Two cans of beans and drained. So they're canned, simple. I already drained them. It's two cans worth in here and I'm putting that in and my, my crock pot's filling up. Okay, broth, four cups. So I try to get organic for this one, uh, organic chicken broth. And this is 32 ounces, which is four cups. So I'm gonna pour that in there as well. And what is left? Left is the spices. So the spices are cumin and garlic powder. So cumin is one to two teaspoons. I don't even use a teaspoon. Literally, I like cumin a lot, so I end up doing a fair amount of it. I love the flavor of it. So I don't know if that's one to two, but I'm assuming it is, or a little bit more. And then I have garlic powder here. So I'm gonna use that. It's one teaspoon of garlic powder. If you have garlic salt, it's just gonna add more salt. And so you might not want that. And then that is it for the spices. So literally it's ready to go. I have here some crushed red pepper flakes if you wanna add a little extra spice to it. So you can do that. I think mine's already spicy enough and I have, my youngest doesn't really like spice. So we are done here. All we gotta do is put the lid on and if it's a, if it's the uh, slow cooker, you're gonna be putting it on high for about four to six. Or if you have longer amount of time, you can do it more on low for eight to 10. And then for the, the Instapot, I don't know, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. If I were to guess, cause I don't have that recipe version of it, um, I would probably put it on high for the high pressure and do it for about 15 to 20 minutes is my guess of that would be cooking up the, the chicken, especially since mine are tenderloins and they're not as, as thick. So that is, is pretty much it. Once you are done cooking this, you're going to just add some lime to it. Okay. And I have in here one lime squeezed into it for that tortilla soup taste and then a, a whole bunch of garlic. So the garlic, I would just be using scissors and chopping into it. And I don't like to do it when it's super duper hot because it'll just kind of burn the garlic or the cilantro and make it a little dark. So I tend to do it when it's a little cooler and it stays green and pretty and, um, and it adds such a nice flavor. So I do a whole head of this. This is where it's got a lot of flavor to it. The lime and the cilantro afterwards are gonna make it awesome. So serving up this chicken tortilla soup, you're gonna find it's gonna be a hit in your family or when you even have people over because you can have a lot of fun sides with it. Whether you wanna go a little unhealthier and go cheese or in sour cream with it or having some tortilla chips. And when I'm trying to be a little healthier and I'm just making it into a balanced meal, it's pretty balanced having chicken and having the beans and some corn in there. And so it's got some carbs and protein, but I like to add a little extra healthy fat in there and I just do avocado chunks on top of it. So that is my, this is my favorite go-to soup. I talk about it a lot. I put it on a lot of my clients' menu plans. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And please comment, um, tell me if you've tried it and if you like it. And let me know other slow cooker and crock pot, instapot meals that you do, that are your go-to. Stacy was just here and she was saying that hers is pork carnitas. That's a very common one that's really good as well. So definitely keep me posted and you guys know that we are here for you. We love making your life simpler. Um, when I make menu plans for my clients, they're just shocked how easy it is. Like you don't have to be complicated. I mean, when it comes down to it with this, this soup, how long did it actually take for me to put all these ingredients in here? I think less than five minutes. And then you have a meal later on in the day that is this serving size will probably give us about 10 servings. So, I mean, that's a five minutes for 10 servings worth of meals that are balanced and good. So I think it's pretty awesome. 
So you guys take care. Um, I will always include the link to our free consultation if you guys need help with your nutrition, but also exercise, stress management, really trying to find that balance in your life so you can optimize your metabolism and really like naturally feel awesome in your body and lose weight naturally and kind of be the person that you want. We are here for you. Okay, you guys take care.